Missouri school districts are collecting more than a billion dollars in new COVID relief. Now the question is, how will these schools spend the money? Our Chief Capitol Bureau reporter Emily Manley explains it tonight. Here in Missouri, schools have already received nearly a billion dollars in previous federal packages in response to the pandemic, with billions of more dollars on the way and restrictions in place on how it can be spent. I asked the state's education department what school districts are doing with the money. I think it's a challenge for all of our districts to think about this over a, a three year period and how to use the funds in a most responsible manner. After more than a year of uncertainty, Congress has agreed to spend billions on improving education. Dr. Carrie Monsess helps oversee money for the Missouri Department of Elementary and Secondary Education. Are you concerned that we're going to get to 2024 and there's going to be money left over in this pot? It's really early to determine that. I, I, I think for a few individual school districts, that may be the case. School districts in Missouri have three years to spend three different COVID-19 relief packages. Part of our role with all these additional funds is to re-engage families that maybe haven't, uh, haven't felt comfortable sending their kids to school. Here's where some of the money has gone so far. St. Louis Public School District, $57 million. The Kansas City Public School District, nearly $36 million. Springfield School District, almost $34 million. And Joplin School District has received $10 million, with nearly $2 billion more dollars still on the way. It has to do with poverty in your local community as, the, as a significant driver of that. And of course, the total number of students would impact that as well. Monsess says the money has to go to pandemic expenses like summer school, devices for students, and school improvements. Things on, in the building itself that impact indoor air quality. So it's not just your HVAC system, heating and air conditioning. Windows and doors can have a big impact on the air quality in a building as well. Now, Munsess says that the department is looking to spend a portion of the money to expand broadband. He also says that some of the federal dollars can be used to give bonuses to teachers and staff. Reporting for our Missouri Capitol Bureau, I'm Emily Manley.